What's up guys? So I'm going to tell you a story today and every handful of days I'm going to tie in story time so that I can make a diary for myself and you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So today's story I'm going to talk about when I was 17 having my, my son, my first child. 17 years old and a father. Wow. Intense, right? Yeah. For some people they might shrug at it and say, oh, I could do that, it, it wouldn't really be a problem. But I'm going to tell you my story a little bit. I'm going to leave out a lot of circumstances and factors and obviously I want to compound this into a small video that you guys can appreciate and take something away from hopefully. And if nothing else, uh, just a summarized diary for myself. When I was 17 years old, I had my son. Uh, his mom is a couple years older than I am. And here I was, a 17 year old boy who could barely take care of himself could barely do my own laundry and <laughs> I didn't have any bills of my own per se that I was paying you know I still lived at my parents house to kinda give you guys an idea I lived in my parents guest house at 17 so I was a spoiled little rotten whatever you wanna <laughs> say or however you wanna look at it I was groomed and socially engineered by my family to make money and go out and be successful and all these other things. I was not raised and groomed to be a father at all. I had no idea what it meant to be a father. I had no idea the responsibility of taking care of a child and so on and so forth. And before my son came, I got some bad news. My parents didn't want me to live with them anymore. So they kicked me out of the guest house. And I went to live with my son's mom for a while and then she ended up getting kicked out so we had nowhere to go. Long story short, I started working uh, two jobs, three jobs at one time and got us a place and all that kind of stuff so that we weren't homeless with a newborn and all this other stuff. One of the interesting things though that we went through when uh, within the first couple hours that my son was born was the Oregon Child Protective Services or whatever they are in Oregon came into the room with like a folder and papers and stuff and just right out of nowhere said uh, we're offering you uh, a chance for you to give us custody of your child uh, because we don't feel with your circumstances living situations and all that type of stuff that you you would be capable of being parents and uh, well we didn't obviously agree to that because <laughs> my son lives with me so we didn't agree to that and we we worked it out and we got a place and I worked really, really freaking hard. Um, really hard. I mean, I was working so much that I can't even remember a lot of that time period. I was just sleep deprived, working, newborn, working, newborn, you know, that's that was literally it. I'd go to work, get off of work, go to another job, come home for a little bit, go to another job, sleep for a little bit and wash, rinse and repeat. It was hard guys, it was really hard because most 17 year olds, you're thinking about like, you know, whose friend's house are you going to go over to and get drunk? At 18 you're thinking the same thing, who's going to buy us alcohol, that kind of stuff. Who's going to go to what party and everything, you know? Uh, what kind of modifications am I going to make on my car and all this kind of stuff. You're not thinking about what type of diapers should I buy, uh, is it time to switch to formula? You know, uh, do we need to get a bed? Do we need to upgrade a crib? Blah, 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 blah. All this, you know, I wasn't thinking about myself then. I was thinking about the future of this small little human being that couldn't do anything to protect themselves or fend for themselves for that matter. Anyways, long story short, here I am over a decade later. My son's a teenager now, mind you, so we've almost traded places. And I've taken away so many great things from that experience. I grew up so much faster than I think a lot of other people uh, have. I was literally forced to grow up and, and now it's really changed the way that I look, or, that I look at life. I almost have a, a disconnect with people in my age group. I almost feel like um, it's very hard for me to relate to them, especially if they don't have children. Then there are people who do have children in my age bracket in their 30s 
and there's still a disconnect and that usually comes with the fact that it comes with I guess you could say responsibility and maturity. I've met a lot of people who are in their 30s like I am and they are completely irresponsible. They've made horrible choices over the last 10, 20 years of their lives while raising their kids and all this other stuff, you know. It's just this, it's almost like when I was 17, I learned from the bad choice that I made, you know, to, to end up with a child and blah, blah, blah. I learned from that, that mistake instantaneously and I grew from that and I started really rationalizing all the things that I was doing from that point forward. Whereas I think there are other people who they make one mistake, they make another mistake and they learn by making mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake until some point they hit a fucking brick wall and they don't know where to go at that point, up or down. It was a good experience to to be a father at 17 years old. It really was. I, I don't per se encourage you guys to run out there and end up with children at 17 years old. But I will tell you this much. I learned a lot. And it helped mold me into a very proud person. I'm very proud of myself and my achievements and my accomplishments. But it wasn't easy. It was really hard. It's still hard in my 30s. And I have another one on the way, so I'll have three children total. But it's not easy. Raising children is not easy. But I think one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much is because I'm not trying to repeat all the things that were done to me when I was being raised. Uh, from physical abuse to emotional abuse. I try really hard to you know, let my children kind of be free spirits in a way. You know, I don't cram things down their throats. I don't try to socially engineer them for one thing or another. I want them to discover the world to a point by themselves. But it was definitely, it, it was definitely a unique experience. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you guys very much for hanging out and hearing this story. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great morning, afternoon, and evening. Take care, guys.